speak for you all. Um, but, but, but think about it. Do you remember the day that you said Jesus is Lord? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The day that you fell in love with Jesus? Come on, bro. And that you stood in that moment and you said, Jesus is Lord. And it was right then and there that, that Jesus was the, not only the Lord of your life, but he was the Lord of your, of your finances, the Lord mm. of your desires, literally the Lord of everything. Yeah. Come on, bro. And it's because you fell in love with Jesus that you said Jesus is Lord. Mm. You see, Jesus is love. You know, God is love. Yeah. See, the kingdom is all about love. Yep. Mm. But you got to understand that Jesus cannot be Lord if you do not love him. Wow. That's it. You see, right. the title of my lesson is Jesus is either the Lord of all or not at all. Mm. Come on, bro. Mm. And you see, if Jesus is Lord, and he is, I want to see what Jesus has to say about love in John chapter 14. Please turn there with me. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, Come on. Come on. Come on We're going to see what Jesus has to say That's it. about love. Come on, Come on, bro. In John chapter 14, in verse 15, the scripture reads, If you love me, you will obey what I command. You go down to verse 21, it says, Whoever has my command and obeys them. He is the one who loves me. Aww. In verse 23, Jesus replied, if anyone loves me, he will obey my teaching. Yeah. Mm. You see, Jesus cannot be Lord if you do not love him. Come on. Wow. You see, Jesus cannot be Lord without love. And you can't claim love because Jesus is love. Oh, there it is. Right. And you see, if you love Jesus, then he's the Lord of your life. And if he's the Lord of your life, that's because, how do you know that? You obey him and you do what he says. Yeah. And you see, I'm not talking about just the easy stuff to obey. Everybody. Okay. I'm talking about the hard stuff. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about purity. Mm. About quiet times. Mm. Getting open about your sin. Oh, yeah. Evangelizing. Guys, I'm talking about being fully committed to the Lord. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on, Dylan. See, if there's no love, then Jesus can't be Lord. Mm -hmm. And you see, if he's not Lord, it's because there is no love. And if there's no love, it's because there's a lack of obedience, and it's because you do not obey God. Mm -hmm. But the Lord is all about love. Mm. Yeah. You see, and, and, and I love this scripture, and it's really convicting, because the Bible is very clear. Mm -hmm. In Matthew yeah. chapter 24, and verse 12, it says, because of an increase in wickedness, mm -hmm. the love of most will grow cold. Right. Wow. Yeah. I find that your level of obedience dictates the temperature of how hot or how, or how really how cold your love for God is. Right. Wow. Come on, you see, bro. if your love for God grows cold, your obedience grows cold with it. Wow. Mm. You see, Jesus stops being Lord when you stop loving him. Yeah. Mm. And, and, and this is super convicting for me because as I read these scriptures, it just talks about love. And I love you know, Maurice and almost every one of them. Really, what do they hit on? They hit on love. Mm -hmm. And it's just a love for God. And, and, and to be honest, these past couple weeks, uh, this has not looked like my life. Hmm. Where rather than Jesus be Lord of my life, honestly, I've been the Lord of my life. Mm -hmm. Come on, Dylan. And, and it's so sad because the scriptures say that in the last days, people will be lovers of themselves. Wow. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, that, and that tears me to pieces because as of lately, I've been the Lord. Yeah. You know, I've been following myself. Mm -hmm. wow. and, and, and it scares me so much. Because I see that over time, and even just these past couple months leading up, you know, I've just started to see my love for God dwindle away. Wow. Rather in it than, than in to increase. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I find what, I've been listening to sermons. You know, I just love inspirational, motivational sermons. Wow. Yeah. Just lessons that make you feel good about yourself. I mean, it's awesome, but I don't do what it says. Mm -hmm. And I don't obey. Wow. You know, I find that, honestly, I've just lost a desire to want to serve. And I end up calling other people to do what I don't want to do because I have the power to do so. Mm. You know, I've began to really to be scared of being open. That's probably been the biggest struggle I've had lately. It's just being open about my sin. Right. And it gets so bad that when I'm finally really convicted about how bad my sin is, I'm only half open because I don't want to change. Wow. Come on, bro. Come on. You know, I've been angry and I've been very bitter at disciples because they don't lift me up enough of the work that I do. Going, bro. I've been prioritizing sleep over my quiet times. Going, I've not been wanting to be fruitful. But honestly, I've been doubting who I am and if this is what I really want to do with my life. Wow. And this morning as I woke up and I had my quiet time, I was sitting in my car just yelling because I don't understand why I don't want to pray to God. Mm -hmm. 
And I, know, I was so ticked off because I didn't want to preach tonight. And I didn't want to pray to God. And it's because I don't, and I haven't been loving God as much as I know I need to be loving Come him. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You see, my life has been a mess lately. Yeah. Because I've been the Lord of my life Come and on, not Bill. God. Come on, bro. Trying to think that I have the power that I can do what I want. Trying to choose the things in the Bible to obey. Mm. And it's only been proving that my life gets worse and worse over time. Come on, Dale. And you see, Ooh. Jesus not being Lord is a lack of obedience to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And that's where it started, that small little seed of not obeying when people call me to obey. And, and, and it breaks my heart, but I have to understand that what tonight I'm repenting. Yeah, I come, on. Come, on. Come, on, come on. Come on, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. Come on, man. sad it is to try and live your life on your own mm. right oh my gosh to try and think that the person i was before was a better lord than jesus is now Ooh. Ooh. like guys how dumb could i be right come on dylan oh and i want to ask you how much do you love god tonight? Mm. 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 your That's love a good for question. god is based on your obedience to the scriptures right wow like I said, the level of obedience dictates how hot or how cold your love for God is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you see, tonight, if you've been fully committed, then I want to call you to grab someone else who isn't and get them fully committed. Oh, Come on, bro. But if you're anything like me, where you haven't been fully committed, then it's time to repent. Mm -hmm. right. Come on, and it's time bro. to repent and to get fired up and to start loving God again. Amen? Amen. 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 Why? Because... It's not enough for just you to be sold out. You have to yeah. multiply your love. Right. Wow. And Come I want to on. You, pick an area in your life where you have not been sold in and be more sold out in that area than you ever have and start wow. tonight. Come on, bro. Come on. I find what's a great way to do this? Bring your neighbor day. Mm. Yeah. Come on. You know, is this an area that you've been sold out in? Mm. I want to call you. Have more visitors at the Bring Your Neighbor Day than you ever have before. Come on, bro. So you can <laughs> show God how much you love him. Mm. It's sad. So many people sit in the deed chime trying to force people to be sold out for God. We really need to teach them how to love God. Mm. Right? That's the biggest thing. I think it just comes back to the Woo! love. Of God. Preach yeah, that. That's Preach what that. It is. Wow. That's and good. you guys got to think, I want you guys to imagine here. Mm. Right? Because the message is clear Jesus must be the Lord of all. Yep. Yeah. Just imagine this. Imagine the day that everyone in this room is totally and utterly sold out for mm. God. Wow. I mean, the amount of baptisms we're going to have. Wow. The conversions we're going to have. Yeah. The evangelists that are going to be raised up. The Come mission on, teams that are going to be sold Come out. On, Imagine the things that God is going to do on, when we're all sold out for God. Because Jesus is either the Lord of all or not at all. Thank you guys very much. Come on.